Well, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game Review here, welcoming you back to another episode of The Sog Walk. I'm staying ready because we have some new team members. OMG, y'all. We're going to have so much fun. But yeah, so, of course, we have new team members on the way. But let's get to the other ones. We have um, Quavarius with Baneful Bunker, Dazzling Gleam, Judgment, and Oblivion Wing. We got Satan with Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Dragon Pulse, Hex. Yay with Heat Wave, Venishock, Sparkling Aria, and Bone Rush. Bry with Thousand Arrows, Psychic Fangs, Sacred Sword, Ice Fang. Piduck with Volt Tackle, Scald, Dazzling Gleam, and Water Pulse. And our newest addition. Snugglebop with Leech, Life, Acrobatics, Dragon Hammer, and Spore with Rockhead as an ability. Snugglebop's ability is kind of great. <laughs> I was going to say it's kind of trash. Uh, no, it's not trash because if I get Flare Blitz or something stupid like that, it doesn't matter. But yeah, we don't have any grass dab on Snugglebop, so it's fine, guys. I'm definitely not sad about it. But Snugglebop is going to be a good Pokemon. I just have this feeling that Snugglebop is going to snuggle our bop, and we're gonna just bop it, spin it, and twist it. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, bop it. I was like, I'm just gonna bop and slap it out of things. Oh my gosh, congratulations, you completed Ace of Worlds trial. Oh my god, you can purchase new items. Oh, yes. Okay, but yeah, so I gave, <laughs> funny enough, I gave Charizard like a whole episode plan. Like, Charizard can confirm. I gave him a whole episode plan. Basically, it was like, this is exactly what's going on and how we're going to tear this thing apart. Um, and yeah, so... Oh, do we think we're going to actually get through my episode plan? No. But, like, if I do, though, then I'll be, like, crazy good. But, let's be fair. Am I actually going to... Oh, this is a force battle. Yep, force battle. Do we want to? I, I, I so almost want to be like ascend and snuggle up instantly. Dude, I so want to. But I'm actually going to just stay stay with playing it safe and send in Yay. I'm going to keep Covarius in the back. I'm going to trust in Yay. Why not? I mean, it is Yay. Yay, yay has to have the Yays. If Yay doesn't have the Yays, then why would Yay be the Yay? I, did, I, I heard that noise, it was like, what the fuck was that? And it was like, wait, that's Team Skull, duh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so weird seeing Ye in the second position. Like, wait, yeah, wow. Okay, so then we were almost at the position then where all of the Mons are back to... Uh, Wow. We're almost at the point where all of the Mons are from this generation again. There's just one Pokemon left remaining. Uh-oh. Do you think that... I don't know. I don't know what the status of that Pokemon is going to be. Because that Pokemon could stay alive with us and stay with us for a long time. It could... It could de most definitely play the Bop again. I like how I have to switch back from Ye to Quivarius again. <laughs> Here you go, Quivarius. Take your time. Oh, wait. I could have actually... Remember how I was talking about, hey, I could have had Snuggle Bop, and I should... I was thinking about going into Snuggle Bop, and then I was like, ah, yay. Snuggle Bop would have oko okay this. <laughs> I thought about that out loud, or not out loud, but like, for that minute second, and I was like, wait a minute. Snuggle Bop would have killed it. Diggity darn it. It would have actually been fine. Gligar. That's a Bry thing to take care of. It's actually really kind of funny to be like, oh, this is a Bry thing to take care of. You go, Bry. Dude, Bry does not feel like the middle portion of our team. What the heck? We're gonna, I know we're getting a lot of what the heck moments. And I get and I understand that a lot of Pokemon have died over the course of the last couple episodes. I'd say like four episodes we've had two deaths, three deaths. That makes sense because yeah, then Bry was added, then Pyduck was added. Yeah, dang, dude. 
at least Bry was first. But yeah, that's crazy when said out loud, though. It's like, it feels wrong that Bry is one of the, like, barely, he, it's like he's barely been on the team. And yet, it's still, technically speaking, one of the oldest members on the team. Hi, Grimsley, we took care of you. Um, neither. It's not going to land on either. Intuitive answers to blatantly stupid questions. Astonishing. I had indeed planned to have Skarmory snatch out of the hair as it spun into the sky. A loss is a loss. I'll give you Sharpedo's info for your ride, Pager. SDS, you're my personal ride share today. How do you feel about being my personal ride share? I think it'd be a fun situation. Okay, SDS. It's the SDS personal ride share service. And only I get access to it because SDS, well, actually, Joy would get access to it too. Uh, but honestly, like, Joy and I jet skiing on Sharpedo's. I thought would be great. Although, them Sharpedo's would sink, but it's fine. F for me, by the way. I just wanted to make that apparent and abundantly clear. Because. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shepiro, I'm not making you, like, withstand 250 pounds. No, Shepiro, you don't want to do that. Um, oh. Actually, stupid, possibly stupid question, but how much does Shepiro even weigh? I'm glad I didn't get that thing. Thanks, trash. Hashtag garbage, but also hashtag I can okay. Uh, no, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. I was like, what the heck? I forgot. Multi-target move. How much does Sharpedo weigh? Okay. That's actually not as big of a discrepancy as I thought that it was. I'll be honest. I thought Sharpedo, like... Maybe was like 90 90 pounds. No, the thing is 195.8 pounds. Like, yep, that makes a difference. We still have our one rare candy from when one we picked up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I have PP ups too. And the Oogle Bloop stone. We, we're gonna get Oogle Bloop at some point, guys. It's gonna happen. We know it's gonna happen. So. Charizard, being the lovely human being that he is, brought up the fact that, hey, guess what? You know this thing that you're going to have to deal with in Encounter? Oh, yeah, 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 that thing. You know, it, th that thing kind of casually, um, in the next generation, you're going to have to deal with guerrilla tactics. And I was like, I don't know. Forgot about that thing ever existing. Yeah, so <laughs> if we make it through this, we have guerrilla tactics to take care of. And guerrilla tactics, if you guys don't know, is literally just, hi, I have a choice band, guys. And I have a choice band on top of my choice band. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, and I could be Dynamax as well with that ability. Um, so I could have double the amount of HP. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot entirely. Uh-oh. <laughs> and the reason why I'm talking... Oh, yes, I have yay leading. Okay. The reason why we're talking about this prospect is, well... Freaking yay. What the... Yay. Yay, we have to have a serious conversation about this. Girl, what the heck was that play? Was that even a play? Because it didn't feel like a girl. Like, I'm sorry, Yay, but excuse me. And you're taking damage. You're taking boatloads of damage. You have a fire move. It's the whole reason I got rid of it on freaking Google. Bot. Snuggle Bop. <laughs> we talked about Oogle Bop, okay? Give me a break. Um, but that's the whole reason I talked about it with Snuggle Bop. 
I didn't even, Amber Palm. Oh, me. I didn't even read what's going on. What? Um, so, yeah. So, Snugglebop is because Ye, I was like, oh, Ye has Heat Wave. It's fine. And Snugglebop is, uh, it, it, Snugglebop is a mon that you want to come in and just bash the crap out of things. Snugglebop, the, I don't know if you guys have caught that, but my, I have a defensive core. So what I added was offensive pressure. And that's the whole reason I added Snugglebop. Yes, I could have added Mega Me 2Y. I get that. But, again, the reason that I did not is, well, I calculated it out, thought about it, and the likelihood of us running into a, a situation in which we aren't actually going to get to the Elite Four before that is high. It's very high. You're not a special attacker. I don't know why I'm freaking out. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so with that being said, I didn't want that. To, I just didn't want to have to worry about that. And if I'm going to use something like that, the Elite Four is the choice for that. Um, but yeah, so I added offensive pressure with Snugglebot because we needed that. We Again, we have... As you saw, we have Defense. We have Celesteela. Celesteela, Nidoqueen, and... Satan are all a defensive core. That is their job. That is what they can do. Bry was the first edition of Offensive Attacking Powerhouse. And then we added... Pyduck. I wanted water types. I love water types a lot. And it's Pyduck, okay? Like, it's freaking Pyduck. I'm gonna, of course. And it's a special attacking force. But it's also pretty well-rounded as well, to top it off. So, it, it, with the addition of that, it makes it just that much better and easier to handle and deal with. Uh, Snugglebop, I'm actually gonna let you do your, take your debut here. I might spore to begin, because I know I'm faster. Than a prime ape. Yeah, this is where I want to gauge. This is an opportunity to gauge Snugglebob's kind of damage. And Snugglebob having spore and being fat. Ooh. But this is also where Snugglebob's minus speed nature is going to kill it, too. Because it might be like, oh, it's fast. And then it's like, uh, whoopsies, it's not as fast as I thought it was. Because Snugglebop had to have, like, the one of the worst natures for her. But it's an Oko, right? Okay. Okay, I was not wrong in the damage rolls. Yeah, give me that credit there. I was not wrong in the damage rolls. I figured it would kill. And I was right. So, suck it. No, honestly. <laughs> I say that and I'm going to die immediately. Um, Flare Blitz? Question mark? Something good? Razor win. <laughs> Trash. Um, something good gets absolute garbage. Yas, Khalid. Give me that garbage. No, but straight up, like, it's one of those. It's, it's definitely. Hi, Pippi K. Okay, dude. Didn't need to do that. Um, but yeah, so. It does kind of create a little bit of havoc, creates a little bit of a war, intrigue, and a little bit more team roundedness. Because, let's be completely fair, a team of all defensive monsters is going to get you, what exactly? Hit. Over and over again, and then crits happen, and the problems lie with the crits. Because crits are the best thing in the world, and they happen to the most inopportune times, because the critical hits. So... Yeah, so that was my thought process. That was my plan behind the, the situation. And I think that that's a good plan. We'll find out if it's go It's going to go horribly wrong because it's me and something's got to go horribly wrong because if it doesn't, then there's a problem. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know who, what, when, or why something's going to go horribly wrong, but I just have a feeling it's going to go horribly wrong. Special attack rows. Yay. Woo. Do not want to run into trainers accidentally. 
a red shard. That's pretty... That was pretty useless. Okay, well, that is what it is then. I didn't expect that to be that useless, but I just decided to want it to be. Me skipping a whole bunch of trainers, thinking that that's a great idea, John. No, definitely skip all the trainers. Come on, guys. I want my three encounters. Four encounters. Four encounters. <laughs> Notice my change in demeanor. I was like, excuse me? Four? Undershooting yourself a little bit there, buddy? <laughs> like, is everything okay? Um, but yeah, let me get my four encounters real quick. Well, I guess it's getting it here. Um, it is a... That is not bad. For the state of our team, that is not bad at all. It's a fire and fighting type, which is great for you to fight. That's extremely good for you to fight. I'm gonna actually Venom Shock it. I feel pretty confident, especially because it won't poison, it does not have a chance to poison. That's resisted. It was a it was a starter. I just didn't want to chance that problem, the starter curse, honestly, because you know that starter curse is real. Like when, when you're trying to catch a starter and it's just like I'm not gonna be caught. It's no with a quick ball and you're just like whoops. I guess I could have tried a quick ball, you know, because if it would have worked, it would have been a big big W, but. I mean, hey, we gotta use my favorite Pokeball at some point. Level Ball is... Yeah, okay. We'll try that. I don't... Why is this a thing? Like... Honestly, I figured I would do that. It's, it were, it has a better chance of catching a Pokemon that's lower level than your own, and I haven't used it. So, I'm like, okay, well, cool. Pyduck's level 39. I'm going to name you Colonel Mustard. So just Mustard. Colonel Mustard. I could have put Colonel in the thing. That would have been smart of me. Because now it looks like it's just I named it Mustard. <laughs> Colonel Mustard has Ice Body, Fire Punch, Wake Up Slap, plus attack. Brave Nature. We like that. Ice Body is... <gasps> Wait, Ice Body's not bad. That's the one that actually heals you if you are dealing with the stupidness of hail. So pff, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mind that at all, actually. Once I remembered what the heck it was, I was like, oh, yeah, that thing. Oh wait a minute. I'm stupid. No, I'm not. It's in here. I was like, I'm stupid. I can go in I could have gone into the thing for the side guards a long time ago. No, it's in here. I'm not stupid. Duh, I knew what I was doing the entire time. Hi, Sina. Hi, Dexio. You guys called me, and then you freaked me out thinking I can get to you sooner. You've been collecting Zygarde cubes. You've collected ten or more. Now you can assemble Zygarde. I think it actually is just straight up a Zygarde. I don't think it's randomized. As much as I want it to be. I don't have Zygarde. Something for some. What? 
but I mean, I don't necessarily care, because like I said, I think it's just going to be a thing anyway. Luminous Moss, yeah, love it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we are getting three encounters. Okay. Firefighter Reed. Andy Reed, the firefighter with a Marina close that I could just Oko with a not yay. Hmm. I don't know. Do I do it? No, Satan's the better option. I... Th that's the problem with Oogle... Or f I keep calling it Oogle Blips. Oogle Bob. Is that I don't know and this is I don't can't I can't necessarily be like, hey Snugglebob, do you wanna just come out here right now? Because Snugglebob can easily get destroyed. It's one of those I have to I have, it's a confident power play is what it is. It's like let me use my Snugglebob real quick to take care of things. But that's why I added it, hit him on top. Ooh, that you see, it's this situation right here, because I can go into Snugglebob acrobatics and feel fine to do that. Because hit on top is scary, it's not an easy Pokemon to deal with. But what I do know is that Snuggle Up is going to hit it with 110 base power of move. It resists its normal stab. And I can spore it just in the case, but I think I'm going to... Oh, I'm not going to Oko. Okay, Snuggle Bop. I'm just gonna switch back into Satan real quick. <laughs> I completely forgot about the uh, future side. I'm not gonna lie, that was my own fault for forgetting future side existed. But also, like, are you kidding me? 2.5 seconds, and we're getting destroyed by freaking random. But this is why Snuggle Bop has to do Snuggle Bop things because. This is why I should put things to sleep first, because sleep will basically guarantee me two turns. Or two hits, I should say. Like, a hit and another hit. So, if I, And I'll essentially be at the point where I was like, I know that I can two-hit KO something. Bop, bop, bop. Because I want to be faster, so that bop is a fast girl. Unfortunately, she's negative speed nature, like I just said before, but that's fine. But what is actually Snuggle Bob's speed? I want to know. Snuggle Bob. 78. Actually, Snuggle Bob ain't that fast. Snuggle Bob is not. That minus speed is hurting her bad. I didn't think. I thought Snuggle Bob was way faster than that. That shocks me, actually, that Snuggle Bop is that slow. I would have never thought that about that or thought that at all about Snuggle Bop. Okay. Oh, don't we get another encounter somewhere else, too? Like, isn't there, like, another place on one of these side bays? Oh, hi, Seal. <laughs> I don't think I have a seal. Not in this series, that is. I don't even have a seal in another series, but it's a different... It's the evolution form that I really like and didn't get triggered at at all. Spoilers, by the way. You guys won't even remember it by the time the series actually goes out at this point. Or at least that episode. Um... I'm gonna name you. Dude, do I just want. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Can. Defiant with Splat. <laughs> oh my god. That's so. <laughs> oh, we. You know, I'm just, I'm very, I'm relatively curious about this. Oh.
because I think the Lake of the Sun. Can you get an encounter in Lake of the Sun? We can get a TM Land Wrath, which is goodness, goodness gracious, actually busted. I don't think you can get an encounter in here. But I'm very curious about this area because I don't explore this area. That's what I thought. I just was like, I don't know. John, the John the Classic of, let's explore this other area that is very foreign and people you don't see very often. Because, who knows? Explorative tendencies that Persona has taught me. Honestly, Persona has taught me that very well. Like, Bree taught me that at first, I'll be honest. Exploring video games. Because there you might be have things and do things that you didn't know exist in the first place. I don't tend to over-explore, but what she does in that regard is very amazing because I don't, I'm terrible at exploring. Exploring is not my thing. It's never really been my thing. I'm more of the, let's play the precision game or the analytic thought game. Cause that's my realm is analytic thought probabilities, all that. That's why this game is good for me. A cherry berry. I am okay with getting it in here if I if I get it. Or in here, this is fine too. Or not. I want to say it's down this pipeline. Is that? Yeah, that was like that was this Zygarde cube, and then it's over here. I went the one way that I would fight a trainer. That's t typical, typical me, typical me. Gentleman Grunt. Cream Arena. Not a good thing to be fighting. With our lovely yay, especially with the freaking rain. Of course, the freaking rain of all places is when we're gonna fight something like this. Um. Air Park Fairy. Oh. Oh boy. Um. The problem is, is it's in the rain. Like, Snuggle Bob might not be a bad option, but can Snuggle Bob actually tank? That answer has been. Proven to be no. Clavarius is special defensive and resists one of the stabs. Ooh. Naturally, the one trainer I ran into that I. Oh no. Oh no. I need to kill this and fast. I should have sent him Snuggle Pop. Uh oh. This could be devastating. Geomancy Primarina in the rain. Fairy Lock. Oh, okay. Cannot run away. I don't trust Primarina. I don't trust it. I'm gonna get hit this turn. I feel it. Okay. It's actually not... It's, it's not attacking. Does it not have an attacking move for having fairy and water? You're kidding. I lucked the f out if that's the case. 
York, I it had no water or fairy moves that it could have attacked me with. What the? Snuggle bop. Also, why the heck did you have a perfect rain team? Excuse me, Crawda and like a luckily Crawda will hit me more than likely because it's fast as all heckles. But look at Snuggle Bob is getting kills. Like she's doing work, which is what I expected her to do. I mean, I expected her to. Be decent. Oh, it was. I went to the wrong side. Okay, I see what I did wrong. Although that might have put me in the middle of a battle. It totally did. Frick. Dude, my mistake just cost me two battles in the rain. Flareon. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's. We have Yay leading. It's fine. It's chill. It's whatever. Also, we didn't even get our encounters. Like, what the heck? brain just picked up on that. He, what did you not get? You know, your encounter, the thing that ends the episode. <laughs> yep, didn't get that one. Because, uh, like, the TM, does anybody really even care about the TM? Yes and no. Like, we care about the TM because we want to know what it is, but we don't care about the TM, if that makes sense. In any capacity. I can understand it not. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying that. There we go, well, encounter time. Clink, not bad. We've had one before. Not in this game, obviously. Or also wouldn't be catching it, but no, we'll take it. I'll take it, that's not bad. That's not a bad Pokemon at all. Boop, bop. Bippity boppity boop, dead, caught. Cause it's dead and gone, dead and gone. I'm gonna name you. I think I actually... Rotate's back, cause I think that's actually what I named him, is Rotate. <laughs> rotate. Tangling hair with fake out reflect type. Rock throw and king shield. Not the greatest of moveset, but it works. Having a rock incense for money. I also don't know if I need to train or not. That's another thing that I'm like, do I need to train or do I not need to train? Okay, if I would have been right, what my what would have my encounter been? Nothing, because I'm just getting water freaking in it. Okay, well, that pretty much caps that off. Um, in the next episode of the dog log we'll be taking on the shady house as well there's some shady shoop nuggets going on here and we don't know how to deal with it we don't know what we want to do with it and what's going to be the best case scenario to do with it but yeah thank you guys so very much for watching um we'll take care of this battle off screen because who really cares about it not me um but we'll see you guys next time bye